Welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm your host Eric Smith and today we're going to be covering the jacks on Coleman and Fleetwood pop-up campers. As you can see, even old pop-up camper pro Derek Smith sometimes forgets to raise a stabilizer jack before he moves the camper. If you've done this too, or need a new jack for your pop-up camper, I'll teach you how to choose the correct one. There's four different styles of jacks on Coleman and Fleetwood pop-ups. There's swing down, 17 inch screw down, 20 inch screw down, and Evolution and Highlander style screw down. Now before you put your jacks down, you want to level your camper if required. Leveling is done at the axle and the tongue jack. Use a leveling solution to level the camper side to side under one tire. Curve levelers, tire lift systems like the Easy Lift, and stackable blocks are popular options. Once the sides are level, now address the front to back with the tongue jack. After you've leveled side to side and front to back, it's time to lower the stabilizers. Until 2006, Coleman and Fleetwood primarily used this style swing down jacks on 6 to 12 foot box models. Starting in 2007, they were typically installed on 6, 8, and 10 foot Element Series models. Starting in 1997, 17 inch screw down jacks were installed on 12 foot and larger models. There are some exceptions such as the 19 and 98 Redwood models and the 1999 Santee model. You can check your parts book, available for free at ColemanPopUpParts.com to see which jacks were installed on your camper from the factory, or you can always give us a call for assistance. Now available are 20 inch screw down models. These were never installed at the factory. They could be used on 10 to 16 foot box models, Oral campers have had larger tires installed or an axle flip conversion done. If you've raised the ground clearance on your pop-up camper, this is a popular option. Here we have the Evolution and Highlander series screw down jack. These are found on later model 16 foot Coleman and Fleetwood pop-up campers and the Somerset Evolution off-road series. First, level the trailer. Pull the jack forward, then swing it down into position. Push the release bar. Insert the jack tool through the top hole all the way through the jack until the tool exits the back. Push the tool down. Repeat until the jack is firmly on the ground. Lower the front tongue with the tongue jack to release pressure off the jack. Push the release bar down. Push the jack foot back into the jack body. Pull the body of the jack downwards. Swing it into stored position. The swing down jack can be operated with an original equipment lug nut wrench or today's jack tools. Level the trailer. Using your crank handle, jack handle, or cordless drill adapter, lower the jack arm until the jack is firmly on the ground. Using your crank handle, jack handle, or cordless drill adapter, raise the jack arm until it is up. With a crank or jack handle, then bump the jack to close it tightly. Typically just about an eighth of a turn more. This locks the jack into stored position and helps prevent it from lowering during travel. Level the trailer. Use your 3 quarter inch jack handle or a 3 quarter inch cordless drill adapter to lower the jack arm until the jack is firmly on the ground. Use your 3 quarter inch jack handle or a 3 quarter inch cordless drill adapter to raise the jack arm until it is up. If the sight you're on is hard pack or solid ground, Sand shoes aren't necessary. Without sand shoes, on a soft ground condition, a block of wood will offer more stability. Early, smaller box models 
and later element series models typically use the swing down jack. They're easily identified by the look and the operation. If this is the style that you find on your camper, the simplest solution for replacement is to replace with the same style. If you choose to replace it with a screw down style, a mounting plate will need to be added to your camper likely to allow installation. To choose the correct screw down jack in 17 and 20 inch versions, you want to measure from the bottom of the camper frame to the level ground. 17 inch style screw down jacks work on campers with a ground clearance up to 14 inches. 20 inch screw down jacks work on campers with a ground clearance up to 16 inches. The Highlander and Evolution series jacks work on the largest units with a ground clearance of up to 22 inches. A good quality spray lubricant will keep your jacks working in good order. Periodically lube the pivot points and slide actions on the swing down jacks and the pivot points and the threaded rod on the screw down series. For swing down jacks, we have two mounting holes right at the top of the jack. For the three series of screw down jacks, we have three mounting points. Here, here, and here. First you want to remove the two on the swing down or the three mounting bolts on the jacks. A 3A socket is common. If you find that your jacks have been bolted on to studs, then a 916th socket is the most common size. Line up your new jack to the trailer frame or cross member or mounting plate and use a large clamp to hold it into place. Your jack needs to be positioned so that this does not protrude past the camper body. Install your 17 or 20 inch jacks with the screws and the lock nuts that come in the kit or if you have studs, replace with new lock nuts. If you're doing a new install, first you want to clamp the jack to the mounting frame or to the cross member and frame body. Use a center punch to mark the mounting holes. Drill 13 64th mounting holes. Now install the jacks with the self threading screws and lock washers. These jacks can also be welded to the frame. First you want to clamp the jack securely to the camper, screw the jack all the way down to the ground, then weld the jack body to the camper. Now you can find these jacks and a whole lot more available at our web store at ColemanPopUpParts.com. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Ring the notification bell to be alerted when new content is available. And I'll see you at the campground with your jacks working.